Well, hey guys, welcome back. You know, it's such a lovely day outside. I decided to come out of the bunker and introduce today's video. And this is probably the most legendary, amazing repair job that I've ever pulled off in my 10 year career, I'd say, messing around with CRTs. Now today's CRT is a very special one. It is this lovely KV1396R right here. And I'm gonna introduce a little bit about it because it has a little bit of a special history to it. Now, first off, I received this television as a gift from a wonderful viewer out there named Howard. Howard was kind enough to bring this to me while he came to the Music City Multicon last fall in October. He came to the booth, we had a lovely conversation, and then he dropped off and donated this amazing looking CRT and uh, just told me that it had a huge problem, which is it rattled around when he shook it up. He got this shipped to him from eBay and uh, everything looked fine on the outside, but there was something rattling around inside and he said it didn't, it didn't turn on. And so that's where I started with, was I got this, again, donated to me by Howard. So thank you, Howard. Something else I need to tell you, this was one of the live shows I did throughout 2023, and it was one of the live actual repair booths I had set up, uh, again, at the Music City Multicon last year, and this was the big repair I did in the booth. So this wasn't even in my shop. This was at my mobile, well, shop that I had set up at my booth at the Music City Multicon. So anyway, that's a ton on the introduction. Let's jump over to the footage from the Music City Multicon and get into the live repair here of this amazing, lovely Sony KV-1396R. Check out what Howard left for us to fix, hopefully. Now this was something that he said doesn't power on because it was shipped poorly. And I'm hoping just it's a small thing and not like a broken tube or anything, but I'm not gonna power it on till I open it up. This is a beautiful 13 inch KV-1396R, amazing from that faux wood grain profile era. So let's open it up and see what we find. I think I figured out why this isn't working. <laughs> How obvious is this? Oh, this poor, poor neck board. Can I even get it off? Wow, check out this thing. How's it going? Look at this. It's the complete disaster. What do you think? Probably could fix it, though. Look at that. I wonder if I can get this fixed before I leave. I don't see anything that's like majorly busted. Just a lot of places to resolder. <laughs> Definitely found the problem. All right, I've gone through and bridged just about everything that looked to be missing or broken, I believe. And I've tested continuity, everything's looking good. Hopefully we can get this to just sit on the back of the tube here and maybe it'll power on for us. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of crazy looking though, hopefully. Because I don't think I'll be able to find this neck board without salvage a, salvaging a complete CRT. So here's our big moment. I have the TV plugged in and set up and prepared for a signal, but I've not turned on the power supplies. I've not turned on the surge protector just yet because I don't know if that's gonna kick the set on. I have no idea what will happen, if this is gonna work or if it's just got more problems, but what the heck, let's see what happens. Turn the power on. Nothing. I'm so nervous. No. Still dead. Let me see. Unfortunately, it looks like there's probably more wrong with it than just that neck board. Because I checked all my things. I'm not getting any life from this set. So maybe something else is wrong. All right, I found the problem, check it out. I didn't look at this board clearly earlier because it's also broken. And it's not very much, but it's right through where the power comes. And uh, 
Looks like just this spot probably needs to be repaired. The rest of this is just blank board. Let's repair that and see if that helps any. All right, I tried to bridge the points here. That's really the only points that are vital are those points to the main end. And then this crack is pretty much through the middle of nothing. I don't see any other needs. And uh, that's about all the time I'm gonna spend on this. So let's hope it fixes it. Because I've also got the neck board conundrum. Anyway, let's, let's flip it over and see what happens. Well, we're back to the same old situation here. So just hold on to your butts. All right, nothing changed there. I don't know. I'm not I'm not confident at all that anything's going to happen. Oh my gosh. We have a standby light here. Holy crap. Holy sh All right, this is pretty unbelievable. The KB1396R has been running for about 15 minutes. Not a single problem. The picture's pretty darn amazing. I don't see really any issues to start with, so this one could get like a full restoration. And wow, what an amazing accomplishment. Let's check out the back real quick, and I'm just gonna show you that amazing messed up neck board. Look at this thing, living on a prayer, baby. Die another day. All right, there you have the repairs. They're all been finished there to the CRT. Now, I will let you know that uh, there's definitely some capacitors in this set that need to be replaced at this point. Again, this is a 1980s set, and it really has a lot of age on it. It's never been serviced, obviously, beyond what I've done to it to this point. So definitely be on the lookout for an upcoming episode where I'm going to go in and refurbish this set completely and get it all spruced up and get everything in there a little bit more secure because again that neck board was just unreal how I was able to splice that together and get it working. Now the last thing I want to mention today is that I do have a lot of special videos coming this month and that is going to be uh, uh, this is kind of a little bit of a surprise. Uh, I've got a visitor coming to hang out, someone you all know very well and that is Zez Retro. My buddy Lewis is going to be coming to stay with me for a few days. I'm going to show him around some unique things here in the United States because everybody knows he's from uh, Estonia and Australia and just like this weird combo story. Anyway, we're going to have some awesome time uh, getting together, making some content for the channel. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I appreciate you checking out today's video and I will see you all next time with some more retro content.